Hello good day viewers. Remember we started integrating these four functions where we have dealt with this one already. So in this tutorial we are going to consider the second function which is 1 divided by x multiplied by root of x squared plus 4. Subsequently we are going to deal with the third one and the fourth one. So here is our function. We want to integrate 1 divided by x multiplied by the square root of x squared plus 4. This is famous. Remember, if you have square root of x squared plus a squared, you can always substitute x with 2 tangent of theta, right? So we are going to make a kind of substitution here by letting x equal to 2 tangent theta. So wherever we have x here, we are going to replace it with 2 tangent theta. But let us differentiate both sides. If you differentiate this, you have dx. So we have dx here. If you differentiate this, you know 2 is constant. But the derivative of 10 theta is what? Secant squared theta. So now let us back substitute. So our integral become the integral of to the top. We have 1 dx. But dx is what? 2 secant squared theta. Okay, we have d theta here, right? So we are going to replace it with what? 2 secant squared theta d theta. Then we divide by x, which is 2 ten theta. 2 ten theta. Multiply by the square root of what? x squared plus 4. But since this is x, we are going to square it before we add 4. That's going to give us 4 times squared theta. So we have 4 times squared theta, then plus 4. We have 4 here in common, so let's factor 4. This is equal to the integral of 2 secant squared theta divided by 2 ten theta multiplied by the square root of 4 multiplied by tan squared theta plus 1, right? Then we have our d theta here. This is equal to the integral of 2 secant squared theta divided by 2 tan theta multiplied by the square root of 4 multiplied by 10 squared theta plus 1 is secant squared theta. So we have secant squared theta. Remember, we have d theta here. All right. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of secant squared theta is going to give us secant theta, right? So this is equal to the integral of 2 secant squared theta divide by 2 ten theta multiply by 2 secant theta d theta from the top to bottom we have secant theta in common so let us cancel one so to the top we are going to be left with only 2 secant theta to the bottom we have 2 times 2 which is 4 then we have tan theta because secant theta has cancelled we have d theta here 2 over 4 is 1 over 2 and it is constant we can bring it out so this is equal to 1 divided by 2 multiplied by the integral of secant theta divided by tangent theta d theta secant theta divided by tan theta is cosecant theta but let me show you how before I come back if you have secant theta divided by tan theta, you should know that secant theta is 1 over cos theta. So this is 1 divided by cos theta. We divide it by tan theta, which is sine theta divided by cos theta. You can see that this will cancel this. We have 1 divided by sine theta, which is equal to cosecant theta, right? Therefore, the whole of that function will be cosecant theta. So this is equal to 1 divided by 2, the integral of cosecant theta d theta. 
you know that to integrate cosecant theta we have a formula for that which is equal to what remember we have our constant one divided by two then we're going to multiply that by the natural log of what the absolute value of cosecant theta the minus cotangent of theta remember to add the constant of integration we are done but remember that our function was in terms of x not in terms of theta so how can we bring it back remember that we have substituted x with 2 tangent of theta so let me just copy that so if x is equal to this we can divide both sides by 2 we have tangent theta to be equal to x divided by 2 right and theta will be tan inverse of x divided by 2 therefore theta is equal to tan inverse of x divided by 2 therefore wherever we have theta in that our solution we are going to replace it with tan inverse of x divided by 2 all right so finally our solution is 1 divided by 2 multiply by the natural log of the absolute value of cosecant tan inverse or arctangent of x divided by 2 the v minus cotangent cotangent of tan inverse of x divided by 2 right then plus the constant of integration and hence this is the solution to that problem. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye bye.